In today's video, we will learn how we can plot coordinates in a map using Excel. For this, we will need the latitude and longitude data. So just go to your browser and search for airports in India with latitude and longitude. Here you'll find this site www.letlong.net just click on that here some of the place names are given along with the latitude and longitude we just need this in our excel sheet so we'll just copy this link then go to excel here in data click on get data then from other sources and from web here you'll find an option where you can paste your link so I'll just paste the link here and click on OK allow the data to get loaded here we are having two options which is this document and table 0 this document is of no use to us we need this table 0 we'll just click on load we have our data now we'll see how we can create the map here I'll just go to this table design and untick the checkbox of filter button then I'll go to insert and here you'll find this option of 3d map and click on open 3d maps if your data does not get loaded then first of all you just select the whole table from here you can start selecting you can just press control and the arrow keys side arrow and down arrow control plus shift side arrow and down arrow then you can click on this open 3d map here you can see this blue marks which is showing the location based on the latitude and longitude. I'll just zoom in. We can even make it a flat map. Just click on this flat map icon. Then here I'll just click on this map labels. And let's do some formatting. You can use this arrow keys for zoom in and zoom out. You can use this plus and minus buttons. Then here you are having this change visualization to bubble. Then firstly we'll see this option of layer which is the layer options. From here you can increase or reduce the size of your bubbles. Let's just set it to 89%. You can even set the opacity. We can even change the color. Again, we'll bring it to this style, which is the first one. Here, I'll just show you one more thing, which is height. Let's take the place name in height. And as you can see, all the marks are having some height now you can even delete that then in the category I'll just set it to place name so in the legend you can see all the place names are being shown with different colors if you will scroll down you'll find the option layer options in which you have the height option thickness option I just don't want the height you can reduce the thickness I'm keeping the height as 0% and thickness 89% here in the colors you can keep any color of your choice for each place name you are having different colors 
you can even change it from the color palette then here you can see this change the visualization to heat map I'll just show you this if you change it to heat map it will look like this and for region charts it works with country or region so we won't be able to use this one we can use two things the first and the third one because the heat map will not look suitable in our case now again here in the category I am adding the place name I'll just reduce the size and the thickness from the layer options I'm keeping the size as 29% and even we can reduce the thickness as soon as you will switch from first map to the third map which is the bubble one you will have to make the changes in all the layers again now we can drag this legend anywhere we want to using our mouse you can even resize it using this round that you can see here then we can even make changes in our legend which is the font size font type color firstly we'll just see the scene options you'll find settings like icon there you'll find the scene options you can set the scene duration you can increase it or decrease it the effects duration you can increase it or decrease it and you can keep any effect which you want once you have set that just close this then after here you find this option of create video We'll just set it to presentation and HD displays in the soundtrack options if you're having some sound which is of 10 seconds then you can add that soundtrack now we'll just click on create give it some file name and then save it once the video is created I'll just show you how the video looks like let me just open it so as we had used the flyover effect it looks like this so from our map we can create a beautiful video like this here in the themes you can set it to any of the theme of your choice now as I had told you that we'll see how we can edit this legend you just need to double click on the legend once you will double click you can edit the title as well as the categories we'll just reduce the font size and the font type I'm keeping it as Times New Roman here also I'll be reducing the font size you can even change the color and if you wish you can make it bold or italic then we can click on OK as you can see it does it is not looking so much good I need one more edit in it which is I want to feel it with some other color so I'll be using yellow color to feel it you can even see the content preview before clicking on ok then we have this capture scene option I'll just minimize this and here you can bring your cursor to any of the cell and then press ctrl V so this is the map that we have created from the data 
you can even paste this map in the new sheet and then you can go to view and turn off your grid lines formula bar and then you can go to file and save this as a PDF so this is how you can create a map you can plot the coordinates in Excel thank you